We have some circle rules dealing with the chords, those segments that go across a circle and hit it in two places. One of the first one is that if two chords both catch the same arc, the same arc angle, or the arc with the same length, uh, then those chords are congruent. It also works backwards, also known as the converse. If there are congruent chords, then they uh, catch congruent arcs. So if you look here, we see that arc CD and arc AB are the same. That means segments CD, chord CD, and chord AB are the same. Same here. Um, look at angle uh, in here in the middle, the central angle. Um, LMY. Why is Z? ZMY is a certain number and XMW is also the same that means chord ZY and chord WX are also the same because the arc angle and the central angle are the same number and same thing looking over there uh, in here at A we've got the same angle therefore the chords DE and CB are the same so congruent chords if it catches the same angle or has the same central angle uh, chords are the same distance from the center are congruent. The same distance from the center is, look in this first drawing, the distance is always going to be the shortest distance, the perpendicular distance. So if O to A and O to B is the same distance, then chord PQ and chord RS are the same. Also goes backwards. If the chords are congruent, then the same distance from the center. So if we know, so let's say a second drawing, if we know C, A, and D, F are the same, then G, E, and G, B are the same. And notice we can draw some triangles in here, and this is where we're actually going to be doing with it. It's getting these isosceles triangles in here. Um, isosceles because that purple line is the radius, and it's the same in both. Or we're going to draw half of the triangle, and therefore get a right triangle to work with. And, you know, there's Y here is the radius. Here's the distance from, which we know in this case is 6, in this case is 6, and the chord 16. We know this whole chord is 16. We've got a right triangle that we're going to be able to use Pythagorean theorem or trig with. And finally, diameters like to cut chords in half in a perpendicular manner. So diameter, perpendicular, bisect. Radius works the same. So perpendicular is going to be a bisector. Um, so this chord here is going to get bisected. This isosceles triangle is going to get cut in half. So that angle, looking at the third drawing, this angle, um, if this is a perpendicular bisector, that angle is also the same because it's this isosceles triangle being cut in half. Those are very important. Very, very. Um, we use this stuff uh, to design things, to draw shapes that are the same size. Um, like polygons, like pentagons and hexagons and things like that. So let's glance at a couple of these. Um, here we have two central angles, both 30 degrees. We have two chords, um, ST and RU. If RU is 10, ST is, uh, it's congruent, it's 10. Because they're the same angle. Uh, here we have two chords that are the same size. AB and BC are the same size, they're both 5. BC catches 100 degree arc, therefore arc BA is congruent. It is 100. Um, here we have a couple chords, QR and ST. They both happen to be the same distance from the center. So if ST is 36 and QR is 36. Again, perpendicular distance, same distance, shortest distance, same. And backwards, if the chords are congruent, then the distances are the same. This is really important that those distances are the same because that distance right there happens to be the height of the triangle and you're going to have to find the area of the triangle so it's important that this one is the same as this one therefore we only have to calculate one and we can multiply by however many triangles we have uh, let's see, let's try and calculate something here. We got uh, CD is 16. That means that chord is 16. You know, pause and copy this drawing down and label some things. CD is 16. And AB is 16. So they're the same size chord 
which means OE and OF are the same, which is nice because he wants to find OF, which is going to be the same as OE, because that rule says they're the same size. All right. Well, I know this is 16. I know, let's see, OB is 10. So they tell me that's 10. Oh, that's B there. It got cut off. It looks like an R, but it was B. And if this is 16, remember things are getting cut in half. We're bisecting things, so that's going to be an 8. So now we've got a right triangle that goes OE, EB, B to O. And it's an 8, an X, and a 10. Well, that's going to be Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be 8 squared, let's see, A squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. I know it doesn't look like squares yet, does it? Not until I do that. Alrighty, so. 100, that's 64, so that's uh, 100 minus 64 is 36. A squared is 36, therefore square root A is 6. So we used a couple rules here to find out that that distance is 6. We use that these distances are the same. We use that things are getting cut in half. Bisected. That's what we're usually going to do. We're going to blend the rules. All right, so we've got uh, things the same distance apart. Eight is this half. So we seem to have a few eights here then. So that's going to be eight. And if this is the same distance apart, then A to B is going to be the same distance as this line is. So again, we got eight and eight. So X is the whole distance across, so that would be 16. So same distance, same size, congruent. Oh, no, things are getting cut in half. Imagine that. So X is, yeah, X is 5. It's, it's the same thing because it's being bisected, and 5 is that half, so 5 is that half. All right, we're being, uh, we've got a diameter. It's perpendicular, which means this half is the same as that half, which is, magically enough, 12. I know that, I mean, it, it is just that straightforward and simple. Things are the same. Things are being bisected. But not by anything. I mean, this is a diameter or a radius. It's not just any old line going through there. It's not just another cord, you know, just going through there, you know, like this. Oops. Not just the cord going across. That doesn't cut it in half. It's got to be a diameter or radius. There's some special things. All right, so we got uh, two cords. We got the short, they're both the same distance, which means they're the same size, which means that whole cord is 24. QR is 24. Well, again, this is going to break us up into some things. We have a right triangle here that's 9 on one side and 12 on the other because, again, it's getting bisected. So let's put another color in here. So the green part is 12, and this part is 9. So the radius is the pink, and we can find the radius. Or if we had the radius and we had the 9, we could have found the 12. And again, if you got two sides, you can find the third. Use the Pythagorean theorem. Or if you got two sides in an angle, you can find things using trig. And we'll talk about trigger in the next one.